being joined right now by the legend herself, Don Staley. Coach, seven SEC tournament titles for you in the past nine seasons. I got to ask, does this feel never get old? We got to talk about your draft night fit. Got to say, you were looking pretty fresh, my guy. You were rocking the red suit, mm. black bow tie. Yep. Chicago Bulls colors. <laughs> did, 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 you, did you plan that? Did you nah. suspect Chicago would have taken you? <laughs> no, nah, I didn't know. That. And you all know the phrase, be like Mike. Well, just to see how hard it is to be like Elizabeth, I decided to take my position and try to aim for the bullseye. And after several attempts and a whole lot of coaching, I came pretty close. I have to ask you a question. You said last year that you beating Aaliyah helped propel her to the yeah. player that she is. Do you think you could beat Aaliyah now? I mean, it's going to take me a little longer than I anticipated. <laughs> Here's a deeper look at Zay's hot start. He had just 42 receptions for 423 yards through his first 41 games as a Gamecock, but he is already at 27 catches and has tallied 556 yards through the first four games this season. You've called a lot of games in your career, but when you look at the game tomorrow, Iowa versus South Carolina, Caitlin Clark versus Aaliyah Boston, where does this one stack up? So with that taking place, my whole plan changed, so I packed up my stuff at the arena and made that trip down Blossom Street to see if I could maybe catch a Gamecocks walk-off win. My hustle and bustle paid off. I pulled up in the bottom of the 10th inning, Gamecocks at the plate with a runner on third, and freshman Michael Braswell at the plate, and this is what happened. There he is. Coming into tonight's showdown, Gino Ariema was a perfect 11 and 0 in national championship games. We can now change that to 11 and 1. I felt great just knowing that we've been prepared for this moment for a long time. But when I did the behind the back move, that's actually like a move that I do like very often in high school. So when I did it, I kind of felt like I was in high school again. So. Whether it's here or in Paris, Malaysia Fulwali is a special talent, folks. Now, she's been a walking bucket ever since her days at W.J. Keenan as a seventh grader on varsity. And over the next six seasons there, she led Keenan to four state titles and was named a McDonald's All-American. And on Monday in her first collegiate game, Malaysia put not only the country on notice, but the entire world. In the second quarter of a dominant 171 win, against Notre Dame, Malaysia delivered that highlight reel finish. Let's look at it again, folks. Behind the back, side to side, up and under and in, and even the legends were talking about it with Magic Johnson calling it the best move he has ever seen. Malaysia had 17.6 dimes and six steals against the Fighting Irish, a performance that she hopes gave people a taste of what she's capable of. I just want people to know that I'm a player who's going to play to the end of the clock goes off. Yeah, and Malaysia wasn't out here living single like a DJ either. Ten of the 11 Gamecocks who touched the floor Monday put points on the board, and USC outscored the Fighting Irish 76 to 46 over the final three quarters. Tahina Pow Pow tallied 14 points and shot 60% from the field in her Gamecock debut. Raven Johnson scored 11 and had seven dimes. In preseason, all SEC first teamer Camilo Cardozo totaled a team high 20 points, 15 rebounds, and four blocks. So South Carolina not only made history by taking part in the first NCAA basketball game to be played in Paris, but they also proved Coach Daly right when she said that this wasn't a rebuild, but a reload. I was just so happy that um, our execution was at a really, really high rate. Over at Colonial Life Arena Monday, the Gamecock men's basketball team kicked off year two of the Lamont Paris era with a bang. The Gamecocks shot 52% from the field against the USC Upstate Spartans. Michi Johnson was a major part of that. 15 points for Big Meech on Monday. The three ball was also alive and well. USC knocked down 12 tray balls. Three came from Taylon Cooper. 15 points and seven rebounds for the Minnesota transfer. The bigs like to shoot on this team too, folks. BJ Mack shot three for six from deep and had 13 points in his Gamecock debut. You USC rolled 2-8, 82-53 win over the Spartans. Here's Coach Paris after the dub. Obviously, I'm happy with the way the guys uh, started the season. It's, it's good for them not only to get a win, but to, to do it in the way that we did. I think we were really committed to the defensive side of the ball. 
you know, working all my life for this, you know, this uh, day, it was really special. Tyler Kennedy is ready to embark on his MLB journey. The 6'3 right-handed pitcher was taken in the 19th round by the Pittsburgh Pirates in this year's draft. Just overwhelmed with emotions because, uh, you know, a lot of sacrifice and, you know, just a, just a lot of everything through this process. It wasn't that long ago that Tyler had zero college offers as a sophomore at AC Flora before transferring to Georgia Premier Academy. That's where he hit his stride and earned a scholarship to the University of Pittsburgh. But things didn't go as planned. You know, I kind of just went through some freshman uh, struggles, uh, playing on the ACC level, playing on the big screen. It was a lot to take in. After a disappointing freshman season at Pitt, Tyler transferred to junior college Florida Southwestern State, forcing him to start from the bottom, which he says added fuel to his fire. It fueled me a good bit because it was just like, man, I got to come prove myself. I got to get back, you know, get back to where I was, get back to what I know I can do. This past season, Tyler did just that he threw a team high 59 strikeouts and was second on the team in wins. Those numbers and a reshaped mindset led him right back to the city that he left one year ago. Once I settled in, I'm like, that's crazy. Like, I, I went to the school there, and now after leaving and going to the transfer portal, I got drafted by Pittsburgh. 19th round draft picks are not guaranteed much of anything besides a contract, but like he did at Georgia Premier and Florida Southwestern State, Tyler isn't afraid to be the underdog again, and he's ready to work his way up the Pirate organization. They're getting somebody who's a workaholic, you know, a day in and day out, a hard worker, you know, a great teammate on and off the field, love to support my guys, and just, you know, Great person, great ball player. Started out of Power Five, then went to JUCO, and now got drafted. How do you hope that journey inspires the next generation of guys who may be going through a similar path? There was times where I thought, man, this might be it. But, you know, I, taught, I had a strong support system. You know, I had a strong village. Um, so I hope, I hope people get to see that, you know, life's not easy. Um, everybody's going to go through adversity, and you just got to just battle through it. I was in a place of like thankfulness, like this is really happening. From the Indiana Fever, Aaliyah Boston! Following one of the most decorated careers in NCAA history that saw her win numerous awards and a national title. <laughs> Aaliyah Boston is now one of the elite players in the WNBA. Layup for Aaliyah Boston. Last weekend, she became the eighth rookie in league history to start in the All-Star game, and her mother Cleone, as well as the rest of her family, were right there in Vegas to witness it all. Did you anticipate that Aaliyah would have this much success so soon? Honestly, none of that entered our mind. Like, you just wanted her to go in there and do her best be successful. What success looked like, I don't think it was quite defined. Because for Aaliyah, it's just being the best teammate, like just doing everything that her team could possibly need. This season, Aaliyah has understood her assignment. She leads all rookies in points, rebounds, blocks, and is also the league leader in field goal percentage. Boston will hoist. What separates her and always have, not just come into the league. I think that's something Aliyah has had high school, before that AAU, college. She was the same person. The, the common goal was the ultimate goal. Aliyah has helped the Fever surpass their 2022 win total in just 21 games this season. Cleon hopes her daughter's all-star experience will not only be the first of many, but also a catalyst to a successful end to the regular season. She's gotten a taste of the reward of your hard work. And not that she needed additional motivation, but I definitely know it's not going to hurt because she's you just added fuel now to continue to push, to continue to work, to continue to strive because you got a taste of it.